When thinking of the worst nuclear disasters in the world, what comes to mind? Probably Chernobyl and Fukushima, right? Well, there's actually one nuclear disaster worse than these two events, at least by some metrics. This is the story of Lake Karachay, the most polluted place in the world. Lake Karachay was found in Russia's Chelyabinsk Oblast, which has this sick flag. The name Karachay means black water or creek in several northwestern Turkic languages like Tatar. The lake was found in the remote regions of the Ural Mountains in central Russia. The lake was historically insignificant for most of human history, but this all changed thanks to the USSR's secret nuclear weapons program. The Mayak nuclear plant built from 1946 to 1948 was the first reactor used to create plutonium for the Soviet atomic bomb project. This plant eventually became the USSR's primary nuclear complex with production reactors, fuel production facilities, and reprocessing and waste storage buildings. After the US had bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Stalin gave utmost priority to the USSR's own nuclear weapon development program. This secret complex never appeared on MAX and didn't even have a name. It was simply called City 40. If you were sent there as a worker or scientist, you never left. Basically, no consideration was given to worker safety while building this plant, and nor was any care given to the disposal of waste materials. The plant used an open cycle cooling system which contaminated thousands of liters of water each day. Lake Karachai, which was located close to the Mayak plant, was deemed to be a convenient dumping ground for large quantities of high-level radioactive waste that was too hot to store in the facility's underground storage vaults. The waste was brought here through the Techo River. Originally, the nuclear waste, once cooled down, was supposed to be put into the facility's designated storages, but this was concluded to be too dangerous to the deadly levels of radioactivity. From 1948 to 1956, radioactive waste was poured straight into the Techo River, which exposed 124,000 people to medium and high levels of radiation, as this was their primary source of drinking water. Afterwards, disaster struck on the 29th of September, 1957, when highly radioactive liquid waste exploded in a Mayak storage tank. This was the Kitschim disaster, also known as the Mayak disaster, and only the Chernobyl nuclear disaster released more radioactivity. At least 22 villages were exposed to radiation, and 10,000 people were evacuated. However, some of these people were only evacuated weeks or years after the disaster. This was due to the plant's secrecy, and no one was told why they had to evacuate. Hot particles were spread to more than 52,000 square kilometers of land. Around 270,000 people lived in this area dubbed the East Ural Radioactive Trace. Fields, pastures, reservoirs, and forests in this area were deemed unsuitable for further use. In total, more radioactive contamination was released from the Mayak plant than from Chernobyl. Doctors were not allowed to diagnose people with radiation sickness due to the secrecy of the whole situation. Thus, it's difficult to say just how many people died or got radiation sickness from the Mayak disaster and Lake Karachai. However, in the nearby town of Mushlomava, studies have found that genetic abnormalities were 25 times more frequent than in other areas of Russia. Some surrounding towns and villages also had cancer rates more than double the national average. After 1957, dumping nuclear waste in the Techa River officially ended, but the radioactive waste was still left in Lake Karachai. Roughly 75 to 90% of the total radioactivity released by Chernobyl was dumped into this lake that was only 45 hectares large. Later, the situation got even worse when the lake started to dry out. A drought hit the region in the late 1960s, which allowed the wind to carry radioactive dust away from the lake, irradiating half a million people. The level of radioactivity measured at this lake was comparable to the entire level distributed across a much larger area affected by the Chernobyl disaster. Some experts who study the area conclude that standing beside the lake for one hour will kill you. This led to the lake being filled with close to 10,000 hollow concrete blocks from 1978 to 1986 to prevent sediments from shifting. Starting in 1989, the Soviet government also started to slowly declassify documents related to the Mayak disaster. A report in 1994 also found that 5 million cubic meters of polluted water had migrated from Lakakaya Chai and was spreading toward other bodies of water. Conservation continued for decades with the entire lake being backfilled in 2015. Conservation work was completed in 2016, which removed any semblance of the old lake. Now it is the site of a permanent near-surface sand-dry nuclear waste storage facility. In total, the project cost 17 billion rubles. To this day, many reports conclude that Karachai is the most polluted place on Earth. However, recent studies have also found that radiation levels in the area around Karachai are decreasing. City 40, where the Mayak nuclear complex was located, was finally named Ozersk in 1992. 
but there are still police checkpoints blocking the area off to anybody but Russian citizens given special permission to enter. Despite the lake no longer existing, the area where it once lay is often dubbed the most polluted place in the world. Sitting here for an hour may be enough to kill you, and things may stay this way for hundreds or thousands of years to come. And that's the end of the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you all so much for watching.